And then when you get ready to come on, you ready? You're gonna hit the switch right here, right? You're gonna, mm -hmm. you're gonna push it back. That's that's automatic. Now it works by the switch. All right, now I'm gonna do the first forehead pads. First thing I'm gonna talk about. Problem I secured and I cracked it broken. I'm come over here, talk about my emergency equipment compartment. All right, I'm gonna open it up. Pull this up here. Lock it up, hold it up there. First thing I'm gonna talk about is my ABC fire extinguisher. It is not properly mounted and secured because it's laying down. It's not my, but look at here. It's an ABC fire extinguisher. It's not properly mounted and secured. This yellow pin or needle is in the green and my carter pin is in place, all right? This is the first aid kit. It's properly mounted and secured and fully stocked. This is your body fluid cleanup kit. Properly mounted and secured and fully stocked. That's all we got to talk about right now. Right. And when you leave there, you're going to go behind your driver's seat. All right. You should have your um, three emergency triangles. Uh, it is not problem. They're missing. I don't even see them. My three emergency triangles behind my driver's seat is missing. All right. But normally, you would say the problem I'm securing, I cracked, they're broken. I'll put them at the rear of the bus 50 feet, 100 feet, 200 feet. Everybody got it? 50 feet, 100 feet, two, if they was back there. All right. Then you do your seats. All right. They talk about the back of my seat is properly mounted secured to the seat. The seat is properly mounted secured to the floor. I'm going to do four of them that way. The back of my seat is properly mounted secured to my seat. My seat is properly mounted secured to the floor. The back of my seat is properly mounted secured to the seat. The seat is properly mounted secured to the floor. The back of my seat is properly mounted secured to the seat. The seat is properly mounted secured to the floor. After you do four, you just do the bottom of the seat. The bottom of my seat is properly mounted secured to the floor. The bottom of my seat is properly mounted secured to the floor. The bottom of my seat, probably my secure to the floor. The bottom of my seat, probably my secure to the floor. The bottom of my seat, probably my secure to the floor. The bottom of my seat, probably my secure to the floor. The bottom of my seat, probably my secure to the floor. The bottom of my seat, probably my secure to the floor. Now, once you've done the seat, you talk about the rear forehead pad. You can come back here if you want to. All right, my rear forehead pad. Probably my secure and I cracked or broke it. Now I'm gonna talk about my red emergency door handle on the inside. Probably my security and I cracked or broken. I see no missing bolts. When I lift this red handle up, my alarm gonna sound and my door should open freely. As y'all hear the alarm sound, the door opens freely. It's working properly. Pull the handle down, alarm should clear. Alarm's clear. All right, it's working properly. Now, I'm gonna talk about my two emergency roof hatches. One, and two, I'm gonna demonstrate on one. As y'all can see, it's properly mounted secured and I cracked the broken. In case of emergency, this bus rolls up on the side to exit. All we do is turn it from latch to exit. And it tells you right here, then push on the red knob, push on the knob. You push this red knob up, okay, the, the alarm gonna sound, the hatch gonna open up so you can get out. All right, you pull it back down, the alarm gonna clear, and you turn it back from um, exit back to latch. And I do the same for the other one. Now I'm gonna talk about my four emergency exit windows. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna demonstrate on one. As you can see, it's properly mounted secured and I cracked or broken. I'm gonna lift up on my red handle. This alarm gonna sound and my window should open freely. As y'all hear the alarm sounds, window opens freely. Pull it back, close it back, alarm should clear. Alarm clear, it's working properly. I do the same for the other three. That's it.